Welcome to Sara Cooks for You. Today I'm making a khima recipe which is from my mom's recipe collection. So it's obviously really very delicious and as usual I always make easy recipes for you. So this also is a very simple recipe where we'll be making the masala powder and not using the ready-made uh, masala. For this I've used 250 grams of minced meat which I've washed and we'll be adding this to a pressure cooker. And to this we'll be adding 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. I've used freshly ground ginger garlic paste. This adds a really good taste to the khima. And I'm adding about half a teaspoon of red chilli powder. You can add it according to your taste. 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. And about 3 4 teaspoon of uh, coriander powder. Now I'll turn on the flame and we'll cook it. I'm not adding any water at first. Okay, and just a bit of salt, about 1 4 teaspoon of salt. We'll mix this together nicely. And then I'm adding some peas. This is about half a cup of peas. You can add more or less according to your taste. So now we'll pressure cook this. Uh, my, the minced meat is really very uh, fine. It's a machine uh, cut so I won't be pressure cooking it for a long time. I added a very small quantity of water say about one fourth cup and I'm going to pressure cook this for about five minutes. Now for the next part we'll be making the masalas. For this I've used fennel seeds or sonf which is about one and a half teaspoon. We'll roast this. Make sure you don't burn it. And after this, we'll be adding poppy seeds or khashkash, which is about one and a half teaspoon again. This gets done really fast. When it once it starts to pop, you can just turn it off. I mean, uh, transfer it to a plate. And I've added four pieces of green cardamom, four cloves and four cinnamon, cinnamon sticks. So once that is roasted, we'll grind it, we'll put it to a mixer uh, and we'll grind it to a fine powder. Now the next thing is to make the masala. In a pan, take about 5 tablespoons of oil. And to this, we'll add about 2 to 3 finely chopped chilies. This again, you can add it to your taste. If you don't eat spicy, you can just add one or you can add more if required. Now I'm adding about four finely chopped onions. These are medium sized onions. They are not very large or neither are they too small. So I've added four of them. We'll fry it till they are transparent. Now I added a bit of salt about one four teaspoon again. So this uh, speedens up the frying and uh, the onions get uh, cooked faster. Once they turned pink, I added about one and a half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. We've already added one teaspoon with the minced meat. After frying it till it uh, till the raw smell from the ginger garlic paste goes away, I added about one four teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, and three fourth teaspoon of dhania or coriander powder. So this again will fry along with the onions. As you can see it is a very simple recipe and it can be done really very fast. I've added three finely chopped tomatoes to this. Please subscribe to my channel and also uh, like my videos and, and comment and let me know if you try any of my recipes. I'll be waiting to know how they turned out. So I'm allowing the tomato to cook till it's done completely. In the meantime, we'll check the uh, khima. It's done perfectly and if there is any water, you can dry it up. Now to this masala, it's done. The tomatoes have softened nicely, so I'm adding the khima. Even if there is a little bit of water in, in the khima, it's fine because we'll also be adding some water here. So don't dry it completely, you can leave some water. Now I'm adding the masala and total I'll add about one and a half teaspoons of this masala and um, you can just uh, test it I mean taste it and you can add more if required according to your taste. Now again I'm just adding about one fourth um, 
small glass of water just a bit you know so till you uh, just adjust the consistency and to this we'll also add fresh finely chopped coriander leaves this adds to the taste of the schema now i'll just close the lid and allow it to cook on a low flame for about 5 to 10 minutes after it's cooked i just added some more coriander leaves and it's ready to be served with hot rotis or parathas isn't this recipe really really very simple if you want to eat it with dosas or anything you can add some more water to it and cook till done this is a flavorful aromatic and the yummiest keema recipes you can make